I heard a noise there and was briefly frightened, but then it was realized it was just my guinea pigs getting the last grass out of a sock. Oh, this is called Confused Rooms, uh, created by the Minus L. So let's see how it is. Yeah. 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 Wake up. How are you, George? I want to play a game with you. Oh, God. Let's play a hide and seek. Close your eyes. I can't say that was a pleasant view. Am I closing my eyes for 10 seconds? <laughs> Find Blib. Okay, I mean, Blib was... I'm so small. Either Blib is huge and this furniture is designed for him, or I am two feet high. Oh, this feels like seeing the world through the eyes of my guinea pigs. It's also quite uh, low volume, so maybe I'll turn up the volume a little. I can't open doors. I'm too small. I'll need, like, a lasso to open that door. <laughs> I mean, Blib is a cute name. Blib isn't a frightening name. Maybe Blip is a cool friend. Lots of, um, lots of identical rooms. Oh, you can open things. Oh, it's skulls. Well, maybe we'll close this. These are trash wood, by the way. This feels like wood you'd find in a skip. But how do you do a maze in a game? You follow one wall, usually the left wall. So far, I'm less viscerally scared than the last game, which is nice. Oh, oh, poor pig. Are you okay? Are you, like, taxidermied? You're definitely not alive, right? I mean, I feel like you couldn't survive with those wounds, at least not for long. Oh. It's a tiny set of chairs. How lovely. I would kind of like those. Those chairs are almost my size. Like, somewhere in between this and this would be nice for me. Oh. Oh. I see. We were in Narnia that whole time. And now we're out. Blib? Oh, that... <laughs> Unrelated to the game, but a shiver just went up me. <laughs> kind of freaked me out a little bit. Oh, no table. Things are getting different. And that's a very cool shot, if nothing else. Oh! You should go back to the number one house? Um. Um. Is that a fridge? Run. Run from the fridge. You can't get through here. Okay. Maybe we'll explore this one first then. I don't know if that was frightening, but it, it made me feel a certain way. Go back to the number two house and get the violin. Excuse me? What? Hello, Blib. I found you. I'm not really sure what's happening on my screen. That man just turned into a fetus. Are you enjoying this, Blib? I believe I have found Blib. Okay. Let's, um, let's go get the violin, shall we? Hopefully the fridge is gone now. Hello, Mr. Fridge? I can't crouch or anything. I'm pressing C and Control, which are the universal crouch commands for some reason. Okay, let's just run up. Grab the violin. Nothing's around. I don't see the fridge. Maybe we'll explore for a second. This feels like a bad idea. Long boys. Okay, I don't want to go too far into the dark, so we'll just run back, I guess. I know, the violin, it just strikes me as too difficult is what it comes down to. Oh, it's a monster face. I, I like that. I like monster face. Oh god, it's a, it's a monster chair. Run. Don't eat me, please. Oh my god, excuse me? It is SCP! Excuse me? This is an SCP Your game? Classification the SCP has been found. He's a kid. What? <laughs> it was an SCP game. A, a, that was probably clear to lots of people watching this who know what SCP is. I have no idea. That was kind of fun though. I liked it. It was kind of zany. I don't know what that 
monster was that we were supposed to hide and seek with. I don't know what the violin was for, really. I don't know. I was expecting that game to be longer as well. Like, I feel like we had some rooms that we didn't go into.